what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm probably gonna show you the most advanced FPS boost pack in Fortnite chapter 3. I got so much stuff covered it's literally insane. I've got tons of in-game and Windows tweaks guys to overall make sure that you have max FPS boost and also some additional steps to reduce your input delay guys and refresh your network adapter to get the least amount of ping and guys trust me it's worth to watch this. And if you guys enjoyed the content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and with that said let's get to rain day's topic. Guys, when I said that I'm going to cover everything, I meant everything in today's video. I got literally so many tweaks right now here in this chapter 3 boost pack, you don't even know guys. And you can get this by the way straight up from my Discord, just simply click on the first link in the description, join there, verify yourself. And you can also ask so many people on there guys, we're over 60,000 members. If you have any issues, just simply ask in the chat, you know what I'm saying. And once you get this pack actually here now on your desktop, you can see in the first place, we have GPU power management, input delay reduction, PC cleanup, refresh network settings and registry tweaks guys. And then also some additional program like here MZ RAM which I use in the background just to make sure that my temporary cache on my RAM is gonna get like cleared pretty much every few minutes. I'm just gonna explain everything guys yeah. Um, what you guys need to do in the first place is click on the GPU power management yeah that's like the first one guys and I know for a fact that so many people are struggling with low GPU usage especially in Fortnite so therefore click on to both of these guys that are like registry tweaks you're just gonna click on it and it's gonna pretty much like ask you here are you sure that you want to continue because it's gonna change something in your registry just simply to make sure to disable the GPU energy driver and disable the power throttling and this pretty much only allows the GPU to run at 100%, you know what I'm saying guys, there's like nothing which can somehow damage your PC, you can of course maybe do right now a backup just in case guys, there's also something I would probably recommend you, but trust me I use all of these tweaks by myself guys and nothing will happen. Just simply make sure to enable both of these here guys, I can even here accept it right now here on my PC, you can see now the keys and values contained blah blah blah, you know where the registry tweak has been changed guys. Um, have been successfully added to the registry, you're gonna click here onto OK and everything is applied. You're already chilling here, you don't need to worry about more. And as we move over actually to input delay reduction guys, yeah, this is like an interesting one because I actually got you here covered for controller players and mouse and keyboard players. Because if you're a controller player guys, you should 100% utilize time asset resolution. This is like the best program in the background just to make sure that you have the least amount of input delay on controller. And yeah guys, as you can see here, time asset resolution, you can see my current resolution is one millisecond. And if I go onto maximum guys, you can see that it went down to 0.5 milliseconds. So we literally got 50% less delay on our controller. It's like an overall nice tool you know to make sure that you can spam those actions on your controller as fast and repetitive as possible you know that there's like no stock delay built in in your windows and guys if there should be for some instance for you here 0.49 or some stuff like that I also prepared here two comments which you can apply which are super super helpful guys let's just say that we have time asset resolution and it says here 0.49 we're just gonna close it you're gonna go here into a windows search bar type in CMD right click onto it run it as an administrator and then you have like your CMD administration comment prompt and you're gonna copy both of these comments here place them in there you can see the operation completed successfully now we're gonna copy the second one and do exactly the same thing paste it in there hit enter boom it should work now you can close the CMD guys close this again and once we open our timer set resolution you can see now that it should say 0.500 guys if it doesn't say 0.500 it's not working properly guys so therefore you need to complete here these steps then we can actually just like leave it in the background and you already set up and if you're a mouse and keyboard player guys there's another thing you can do here I first of all have some reduction tweaks here for your keyboard just to make sure that your keyboard is running at a hundred percent you know like 1000 megahertz polling rate so you're gonna click onto keyboard tweak and just make sure to apply it here as well again guys click onto ok this is exactly how it should look like and the same also for your mouse guys you're gonna go here onto mouse tweak click onto yes and press ok uh, you can pretty much see which one of these files here is the registry one because it has like this small logo here and it says registry entries you know what I'm saying guys and then we're gonna launch filter keys and this is pretty much the same thing as time asset resolution just a little bit more precise and better for keyboard players so I'm just gonna close time asset resolution actually in the background and I already also um, brought you in here a settings picture so you can pretty much just minimize this and copy all of my settings you can see here ignore under was set to zero guys um, repeat delay we're gonna set to 150 um, repeat rate we're gonna set to 25 and on the right side we only want actually on available and the rest we can all turn off guys those are the best settings then you're gonna click here onto apply 
and then you pretty much already applied them guys this is going to give you so much less input delay and this is so much more precise than time set resolution because you can type in milliseconds and i figured out myself that repeat delay on 150 and repeat rate to 25 is the best one and ignore under you're just simply going to leave it onto zero and then you can let this actually run in the background while launching fortnite um, don't press ok guys because it's gonna get minimized just simply leave it open you know go into your epic games or just simply launch fortnite here on the top you know what i'm saying guys and leave it open in the background and now we're just gonna continue actually here with the other stuff i can actually close this here real quick and we have now pc cleanup and this is also like a super important thing guys I already showed this like in one of my previous videos we have a powershell command prompt in here yeah you don't need any more programs just simply copy here this link you know right click onto it copy then you can close this and then you're gonna go into a windows search bar and type in power until you find windows powershell yeah this is the one guys we're gonna simply launch it and now we're gonna paste that comment in there yeah you can see everything just simply press enter it's gonna take a few seconds and you can already see here your administration power um powershell is working in the background and we're not gonna close this console here in the background guys yeah and now we have like this new menu here uh the windows 10 deep loader and and now we have like this new menu here, the Windows 10 Deep Loader, and you can see here we can do stuff like disabling Cortana, super nice stuff, you know. We're gonna click onto it and you can see Cortana has been disabled. It's like this um, AI assistant here, that's like the assistant of Windows 10 and Windows 11, which is super unnecessary, but it's taking off so much of your system power. So you wanna, of course, disable it, guys. And then you can also see here, disable telemetry tests is also something we're gonna do. It's gonna pretty much just stop all the Microsoft services in the background where like getting data off your PC, you know, let's just say for an instance that you have like a blue screen on your PC or your PC crashes and Windows is trying to like figure out, okay, what is happening there and sending those data to Microsoft um we don't really want that because these services are always running in the background you know and just slowing down our pc and yeah we don't really want that guys so therefore just do that and once you're done with that you can already close this here um if you want like a more in-depth tutorial about this i'm gonna leave a second link to this in the description because there's actually some more stuff you can do in here but that would be way too much for this tutorial so therefore yeah we're just gonna close this and you should maybe restart your pc as of right now guys and then come back later and then next up guys we're gonna click on to refresh network settings yeah there's like the next one and we can see it. we have another cmd comment list in here and we have two comments and yeah guys you know like some people have like a lot of network problems they have high pain they have packet loss and these comments will help you just all to refresh sort of your network adapters and just make sure that you have them like pretty much up to date as if you would just like install your windows brand new you know what i'm saying guys you just want to refresh them once in a while so we're going to copy um first of all here the first comment go get into windows search bar type in cmd right click onto it run it as an administrator and then we're going to paste the first comment in here Netch and IP reset, yeah? And now you can see guys, reset the computer to complete this action. So you should maybe as of right now, again, reset your PC guys and then come back later. And once we're done with that guys, we're gonna copy the second comment here again and paste it in there as well. Netch Winstock reset. And you can see successfully reset the Winstock catalog. Your PC must reset again in order to complete the, the full entire reset guys. So again, reset your PC. And with that said, you pretty much refreshed your whole entire network adapter. And just make sure that you guys can avoid packet loss or high paying stuff like that. It should fix most of it, most of these problems. So therefore we can close it here again and go back here into our FPS boost pack. And we can see now registry tweaks. And this is where it gets like really fun now guys. You can see here we have so much stuff we can disable. Diagnostic services, disable background apps disable game bar game dvr this is all like basic stuff you should 100 percent disable especially after each and every single windows update because microsoft is going to try to enable all of these services again in the background disable maps who uses maps on his windows you know like the built-in application you're going to go on google maps or stuff like that um your game bar you know like game dvr if you don't utilize it for recordings turn it off this is all just like causing fps drops and stutter because it's taking up your ram system power cpu power everything guys and also here a really important one fn high priority i think like everyone knows when you go like into a test manager and put your fortnite on like high priority this tweak is actually going to do it natively for you so you don't have to do it every time by yourself once you restart your pc just simply make sure to apply all of these here guys and you're literally gonna have like the best registry tweaks here applied already to your pc guys and yeah, once we're done with that, guys, you can see we have also another program which is called MZRAM. And yeah, I already pretty much installed this here on my PC, so I'm not gonna do it 
and I actually have it running here in the background. And this program is awesome because as you can see here, it's gonna show you first of all, how much RAM you have available on your PC, how much used RAM and how much free memory. And if you guys didn't know, your PC is like every single second putting temporary data onto your RAM. Let's just say for an instance that we opened here this window, yeah? Your RAM is gonna remember that for the whole time your PC is running. And therefore we can see that the free memory, which we actually have from our original total amount is always like decreasing every single second guys. And this is gonna cause FPS drops because at some point you will have too less free memory actually available and you're gonna have like really bad FPS drops in games or your programs are gonna be like really slow and everything. And what this can do is pretty much we can click here on recover RAM or smart optimize and just simply again free up here our memory which is used. And there's actually also like an auto system. So we go here onto options and you can see automatic optimize a free RAM is below 2500. This is like the best one for 16 gigs of RAM guys. If you're on eight gigs of RAM, I would probably also like leave it around like 2000 megabyte. And yeah, just to make sure that we have like two gigs, you know, once it drops under like two gigs, um, this program is gonna again, like clean up our used memory. So like all the temporary cache files are getting deleted guys. And yeah, you can also like put in a certain time, you know, like um, optimize it every, I don't know, 60 minutes, which would be like an hour, of course, guys. And yeah, this is just simply like the best settings I would put in here, guys. Um, you can see automatic optimize when under 2,500. Works the best for me here. As mentioned, if you're on eight gigs of RAM, put it on 2,000. And if you're on four gigs of RAM, probably put it on like 1,000 megabyte. I can't really tell that because I don't know how hardware demanding Windows is right now on four gigs of RAM how much it's taking up like stock. So therefore, yeah, you, you have to maybe do some research for yourself, but these are like the best settings guys. And just simply let this program run in the background just to make sure that your RAM is always uh, like speeded up and freed up. And with that said, we're already done here. This is like the best FPS boost pack and Fortnite chapter three. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it was helpful. And if so, please don't forget to leave a like. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out, peace. That shit too